here today in Normandy, France, aboard Nell. Nell is a GL Watson designed gaff cutter built in 1887 on the Clyde. She's been subject to a major restoration here in France since 2009. Here we are looking aft along the deck. Nell was, uh, her design was inspired by the Lopfine skiff. And we'll look at the stern there in a little bit. It's that typical Lopfine skiff shape. Here we are at the bows. Got bowsprit there with the traveller for the jib and uh, you can set a jib topsail to the end of the bowsprit to the top of the uh, top mast. Rigging obviously is all new and they've utilised modern materials like Dyneema, Dyneema soft shackles and lines and so on to uh, improve the rig and handling. Here's the old manual windlass, it's been totally stripped and rebuilt. And we come down here, here's the uh, teak four hatch and the deck is laid with double teak king plank, this is oiled and then the deck is solid teak, bronze screwed to the deck beams, corked and paid and covering boards that have been uh, painted rather than varnished or oiled. Here's the mast. The mast was new several years ago. Uh, leather boot here, mast gator boot. And then these are the rails on the side. So these are actually stainless steel, been made new stainless and then um, painted in a gray paint. So they, uh, they don't look like modern stainless and they do fit in with the pattern of the boat. Mast hoops ash and then leathered see the nice stitching here and the gas saddle is uh, is fabricated and then leathered and then got power balls here so the halyard falls come down so this is the peak this is the peak stretcher so you've got a five to one purchase on that and this is the main peak so you can take it up as far as you can and uh, and then the last bit you can use the stretcher for if needed and then the throats on the other side on the starboard side here's the uh, varnished teak skylight over the main saloon with the bronze rails protecting the glass during the refit they have been very focused on originality keeping as much of the original material and features and fittings as they possibly can um, and obviously there's been a vast amount of timbers had to be replaced um, but this skylight for example has been rebuilt the main hatch you can see just after us there that is completely new and you can see the difference the different color of the teak so that's uh, a little bit of a giveaway the so decks are very clear and flush we've got uh, cleats here bronze cleats for the sheet the headsail sheets and running through these eyes on deck here we've got jack stays fitted safety jack stays permanently fitted um, these are the main mast running back stays uh, so they're actually this is a um, five to one tackle and then it's a two-part one so you've got a lot of uh, a lot of purchase there and they come down and the chain plates these are galvanized chain plates and they've actually got these um, little cleats fitted on so the the tail of the um, of the tackle comes down and makes off onto the chain plate so it keeps it all very compact you can see down here in the tow rails these nicely shaped scuppers 
nice little feature, very elegant. So moving aft, bronze derailed vents here, and then deck prisms giving light down below. So you can see here, this is the new uh, new main entrance teak hatch. Moves very easily on these sliders, plastic sliders. And then there's a small skylight here over the half cabin, the owner's cabin, so you can see the patina in this. This is a, a much older skylight. And then the main sheet controls here, lovely bronze fitting with the rubber shocks in. Modern ropes wooden blocks uh, and then you can see here the use of Dyneema soft shackles it's nice little features like that use of modern materials very subtle just helps stops the clanging and the damage and then here is the small cockpit aft for the helm and this is all new curved teak combing uh, here is a, is a modern alloy hatch Bomar hatch so that gives access down into the aft end of the engine and the shaft and so on um, and using the hatch like that keeps it completely dry and tight so it's uh, again good use of modern materials and the original bronze tiller and we can see uh, her name inscribed in the head of the rudder stock there Here we've got engine controls. It's got 110 horsepower Volvo Penta D3. The modern engine, lots of power. Yeah, looking forward along the deck. These beautiful flush decks, clear of stanchions, and ugly fittings and features. scroll up the rig so uh, it's actually got a relatively short top mast which doesn't carry a topsail uh, sails made by uh, James Lawrence um, got main staysail jib jib topsail but they never actually had a topsail made and uh, have to be quite light airs to fly it Here we can see the uh, main rigging, standing rigging. It's got small channel boards here. Dead eyes and lanyards. And his galvanised rigging. It's been parceled and served top to bottom. Seized with uh, Dyneema seizings. And we'll just go and jump down on the pontoon and uh, have another walk along so we can see her shape. So here we are down the pontoon. Have a look at now. There's the end of the bowsprit. You can see the block there for our jib topsail. Bob stay slack at the moment. Whisker stays slack. She's laid up in port. And uh, traveller there for the uh, jib. And again, you can see the uh, Dyneema soft shackles. It's very, very distinctive shape to a hull. Uh, she's got the lock fine skiff inspiration. She's not very typical of boats of her period, the, uh, the late 1800s. 
where it tends to be very what we call plank on edge. No, no hull shape, no build shape, no hull form stability. But this boat is very different. She's got real turn to the build. She's got quite a cutaway forefoot. You can't really see here down the water, but she's very shallow at the fore and, uh, and drops back to a deep heel at the aft, aft end. So uh, it's, yeah, quite a revolutionary shape really. Straight stem, running aft is oak, varnished oak tow rails. Here we can see the channel boards with the chain plates. Again, this is all new. Chain plates here for the main mast backstays. And then the top mast backstays running back here. And then we get to the stern. It's very distinctive lock fine skiff style stern. Very distinctive, very beautiful shape to the boat. Those flush clear decks, lovely um, varnished skylights. She's uh, certainly a sight to behold. Here we are now down below on Nell. It's companion steps from the main hatch and down into this area here. We uh, step aft into the aft cabin or owner's cabin. We've got two single berths over to starboard here. This first a little bit larger. Here we've got portholes, good ventilation. Now, a lot of the joinery here is new, all the panelling, all this area here is all new. Um, keeping the original car vents, uh, allowing ventilation around the top of the beam shelf, between the beam shelf and the deck. You can see here the underside of the new laid teak deck. Nicely reeded out so you don't have a blank flat white surface. Deck prisms here. And these are period lights fitted with modern LED bulbs. Um, some of the joinery is original, so these draw fronts. See these are oak, these are original, you see the pattern in the timber, these are much older. Um, this area here, this is covering the forward end of the engine and the gearbox. The gearbox, the engine is set uh, the wrong way around with a V-drive reverse gearbox. Um, so this is covering the engine, easy access. This joiner is all new. And then this is original or older joinery again, oak panelling, oak doors. Nice bronze catches giving rise to large lockers, lots of space. And uh, here's the first of these beautiful period doors. You can see one side they are made with teak, tongue and groove teak, oak cassettes, oak surrounds and then oak infills here. And again you can see the pattern of old fittings and that have been fixed. Just uh, Gives a lovely feel to the joinery. Here, stepping forward. So here to starboard is the heads compartment. Now we've got a Blake's sea toilet, manual sea toilet. All been rebuilt, of course. All manual. Um, oak uh, joinery here with a hand basin, hot and cold pressurised water. There's a calorifier runs off the main engine and 240 power. Um, these nice lamps from Davy fitted throughout the boat. And then you've got a shower head here. It comes out. And the bottom of the heads is a sealed shower tray. Drains into a waste tank, pumped overboard. And to port. So here is the only visible uh, 
electric switches on the boat, let into a nice brass panel, so it looks fits in with the uh, the image of the boat and these uh, measured diesel tanks, um, ammeters, charge, and water. And this door is all teak. So you've got a big locker here, hanging locker. Um, you've got B&G instruments here, DSC, VHF. And these are the uh, battery switches and bolts measurement. And then in here, we have access to the rather wonderful electrical cabinet. So you can see the main batteries, 325 amp hour batteries. Very nice wiring, all very professionally done. You've got a sine wave inverter, battery charger, battery switches, uh, all very nice and good. And now we move forward into the main saloon. This is certainly Nell's superb feature. A lot of time has been spent during the refit in the saloon. Most of the panelling in here is original and what was either missing or not salvageable has been replaced as closely as possible to the original. And her interior, although the boat was designed by Jill Watson, her interior was designed by Robertson, who was a Glaswegian, he was an artist, and part of the artistic movements around Glasgow at that time. And a lot of the features here are very typical of that period. You can see the carvings. These are original to the boat. There are a couple of areas which were very badly damaged and were replaced with new, but otherwise the originals have been kept throughout. Again, here the Davy lamps. And then these little stained glass windows are a key feature of the boat that she's very well known for. One of them had to be repaired, the other one was fine. You slide open and you've got access to the porthole there. Simply a stunning very unique saloon, a real piece of history here. And here's the door in, in close that one. So this is looking aft. Again, similar this side, here's the uh, Davy bronze lamps. intricate carving and again the sliding stained glass window these settees all proper buttoned button leather the owner looked for a long time to find the right person with the right skills to do this properly the, uh, the chap actually came from the uh, vintage car industry and he's done a wonderful job. See, she's got these lockers either quarter. There's actually no glass in here, it's just these bronze rods. And then lockers here as well. And then here moving forward, again, these doors, this is actually pitch pine diagonal tongue and groove with an oak casing, oak panels. 
and obviously a lot of this area now is is all new joinery so here we've got the galley on the port side she's got a Taylor's 030 stove two burner with an oven um, good locker space hidden away in these places here it's for the whiskey yeah lots of Lots of drawers, good storage behind, good access to the hull, clear to see the structure. So she's built here with these large sawn oak frames in futtocks. These are about three by three square. And then she's got these smaller intermediate timbers. The new ones are laminated in two parts. Uh, two, so two, two intermediate timbers, and again back into the large steam, uh, the large sawn frames. I'd say about 80% of the planking was replaced. Whole deck structure was new. Most of the frames, the keel, ballast keel, keel bolts, center line, floors. She had a proper professional refit. Um, so again, back here to the galley, brass sink, hot and cold pressurized water. Top loading, 12 volt fridge freezer. And you've got storage space underneath here. Here's a compressor for the fridge there. And then you've got here to starboard, a couple of single berths. Good length berths, storage below this bottom one. Similar uh, little bronze lamps with LED bulbs as in the aft cabin. the bottom of the mast, this is the new mast, up to the mast partners. And then in the four peak here, see currently uh, during the winter all the sails are in here. Sails all by James Lawrence, Brightling Sea. Uh, there's a big anchor locker down below here in the stainless steel tray. We can see the uh, paraffin tank for the uh, Taylor stove. Again, good storage space here just to get all your bits and bobs out of the way. And you've got a four hatch here above, a new teak four hatch. Here we are moving back aft into this wonderful saloon. Actually, I don't think we looked at the table earlier. This is uh, obviously oak. This is a, another period feature that was saved and refitted. You got this fitting here. Um, the table can gimbal. And obviously the leaves fold away to make it much narrower if you need the space. Skylight above. And again, when the current owner bought and started the refit, she had three of these skylight fittings. So the skylight split into four separate leaves and there was only three of them. And uh, spent several years looking and managed to find another one, exact match. So uh, now has all four. Here we are, moving back aft. It's there, bath cabin, and the companion steps going back up on deck to a windy, wild day.